Yellow flag is raised. And they're off. First to show is B. Fierce, and just pushed away from the start. Near rear is Cree Cora. So first to show as they make the run towards the first hurdle is Forest Pump on the outside of Champagne Saloon. Quickly at the first, these two hurdles come quite quickly together and over jumping and doing well to stay on board in the stripes was Colonel Bellew and Ross Berry. But Ronald Pump on the outside as Forest Pump in the white and blue to Champagne Saloon ahead of B Fierce and then Arrow's Luck and then racing in fifth place is Unclipped and tracking that is Tashe Rua and behind Tashe Rua is the grey Colonel Bellew and then a break of a few lengths back to Robin Elite who races in company with Miss Madeline as they straighten up and Champagne Saloon on the inside with the sheepskin noseband to the pale colours on the outside of Forest Pump and they're two and a half lengths to the good over Arrow's Luck and Be Fierce unclipped Tashe Rua just ahead of Colonel Bellew in mid-division just ahead of Robin Elite who's a length to the good over Miss Madeline and then chasing that is Knock William Bridge and on the inside, a little bit keen is Gino Drummer Boy. And then racing on the outside is Cree Corkra. And then we have a break back to the final pair with the panel. It is Blue in the West. And then last of all in the striped sleeves, Robin de Boston. So swinging into the home straight for their first time. And the leading pair have opened up the gap. On the stand side is Forest Pump. Along the rail is Champagne Saloon. And they're now five lengths clear of in third Arrow's Luck. And then B Fierce just ahead of the Grey Colonel Bellew. And then... The blue, light blue star on unclipped. And then in behind is Toshe Rua. Stand side is Creek Corkra. And in between Colonel Bellew. And then is Miss Madeline. Just ahead of Robin Elite with a circuit to go. And Robin Elite just pushed away past the winning line there. In company. But on the inside is Gino Drummer Boy. Who's a good way back. It's just ahead of Knock William Bridge. And then our final pair is Blue in the West. And last of all is Robin de Boston. But through our starting point, uh, still the leading pair eyeballing each other. Champagne Saloon going the shortest route. One horse wide is Forest Pump. And they're now three lengths ahead of in third Arrow's Luck. And fourth is Unclipped and B Fierce, who just races off the rail. Colonel Bellew, Cree Corcra, then Toshe Rua and Miss Madeline. And then Robin Elite just ahead of Gino Drummer Boy, who's got a couple of lengths closer. And behind that is Knock William Bridge. And then a mistake out the back by Blue in the West. And still continuing is Robin de Boston. But now a clear leader and left alone for the first time since the flag went down. And that's Forrest Pump and Alex Harvey. Ahead of in second place, Arrows Luck and Joey Dunn. B Fierce and Patrick Mullins. And on the inside is Unclipped and Connor Shine. Now going backwards is Champagne Saloon at the next. And Forrest Pump will have a three parts of a length lead over Arrows Luck. B Fierce is four wide and in between it is Unclipped. Unclipped as they leave that hurdle behind them and make their way towards the stable yard bend. Colonel Bellew has got a little bit closer and, and just ahead of Miss Madeline and under pressure's Creek Corcra. Gino Drummer Boy has a lot of ground to make up as our leader. Under the pump now is Forest Pump and ranging and looming large in the wing mirrors and now striking on his arrows look. Unclipped goes in pursuit. B Fierce and Colonel Bellew. And then Gino Drummer Boy and Miss Madeline as they straighten up and head for home. And it's Arrows Luck and Joey Dunn. Two in second, Unclipped. And then comes Forrest Pump. And Colonel Bellew, B Fierce, has no more to offer. And then Gino Drummer Boy under hands and heels over the last. And Arrows Luck quickly challenged by Unclipped inside the final hundred. And Unclipped stands side. Arrows Luck the far side. And Unclipped has run him down and has been pushed clear to Arrows Luck. Colonel Bellew, Gino Drummer Boy continues to stay on. But it's a win for Unclipped and trainer Dennis Leahy. Two in second, Arrows Luck. Colonel Bell, Eugene, or Drummer Boy, closest at the finish. Miss Madeline, Forrest Pump, and B Fierce. We're joined by the winning rider, Cal Shine. A bit, of, a bit of history created. Um, I suppose, yeah. Uh, I'm based on and band here, come to Cork. Riding pint of pints there for the last four or five years. Um, based with Louis Ashley and Eugene Sullivan, and uh, I've ridden 14. 14 winners in the point of points, it's my 15th, so first track winner, so it was nice to get it. What was your expectation coming here, Cal? Do you know, Dennis, or Dennis rang me on Friday and uh, he said, look, she's more than capable. Um, and her second last run, do you know, it was on softer ground behind, back in Tipperary, and Dennis said, you know, she's a proper good ground mare, tight track would suit her, and do you know, we got away handy and uh, the race worked out well, so look, she's a uh, She's mere, she'll improve and she'll jump a fence though. Will you be riding more over rules in as the year develops, do you think? She'll look, maybe there over the summer. Mm. Um, what do you do day to day? <laughs> I ride out mainly for Eugene Sullivan. I do a few 
lots for the smaller lads, uh, Paddy Crone and Louis Archdeacon, whoever wants me. Like, I'll be down there near Drumhan, so we do a lot of schooling around there as well. So, no, keep busy. Will so, you celebrate? Uh, we'll see. Maybe have one or two. So, the long journey home to Cork, but sure, it was well worth it. Well done in your first win on the rules, Cal. Love you, Jack. Thanks. Cheers. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.